Hello everyone, Leo here and as you know I love to use AI tools to enhance as much as I can the quality of my music and my videos. I recently discovered a tool to be used to create vocals which is insanely good for me and since a few weeks I'm in love with the, an AI tool to be used for image and video generation which is called Leonardo AI. In this video I would like to show you how I'm using Leonardo AI for my videos, also sharing some advanced features of the tool itself. Let's start. Leonardo AI is a web-based tool which allows us to create images from a prompt. I'm basically using it with two different purposes. The first one is to create images and videos to be used as backgrounds in my music videos and the second one is to create the thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Let's start from the latter, I mean the thumbnail for my YouTube videos. And here I would also like to share the first advanced feature of Leonardo AI which is the possibility to train your own dataset. Basically I provided to Leonardo AI 40 images of myself then Leonardo trains a neural network and then I can create my images with myself in the scene with results like this image. Let's check it out more in depth. We have to go in the training and the dataset section and from here to train new dataset. Here we can provide the dataset with the name and some descriptions. Then we go ahead landing in this page where we have to provide 40 images of ourselves. Here you have some options. I would suggest to start using 512 by 512 images and to try to have many different images of your face in different situations with different lights, different positions of your face, etc. Now here I have used some images extracted from my videos just making screenshots and other that I had in my phone, which is I would say not the best method as it would be better to use real photos. But at the end I was still able to get good results in my opinion. Here it is also very important to define the name we want to use in our prompt as a reference for our new dataset this one here. Once done we can tell Leonardo AI to train the dataset and here we have to wait a couple of minutes. Now that we have trained the model we can use it in our image generation prompt. Let's see how it works trying to create an image for a YouTube thumbnail. Basically we can go into the image generation section of Leonardo, then we have to select our model and then we can type a prompt like this one. Full body and here you have to type your keyword with medium brown hair and leather black pants and a colored purple shirt playing a perfect Fender Stratocaster guitar, perfect hands, concert hall with a big drum volumetric RGB light in the roof. And this is the result we can get. Well, I think this is a pretty nice image that I have actually used in my review of the Ampero stage. And this is the final thumbnail adding some text and an image of the Ampero stage. Now the other use case I would like to share for the Leonardo AI is to create images or animated videos to be used as backgrounds in my songs. And actually guys I'm creating some cool videos for my songs that I can't wait to share with you. For instance here I have created an image with this prompt that then I have turned into a video. Now Leonardo AI allows us to create max 4 seconds videos and typically I need longer clips as backgrounds therefore I'm using a strong animation strength in Leonardo in order to have pretty fast moving objects, in this case for instance fast moving clouds, and uh, in this way I can then use another AI tool 
to slow it down and in my case I'm using Topaz, slowing the Leonardo AI video by four times, obtaining this clip. Then I have used a green screen capture of myself and my animation tools to create this particular sequence. Oh, I, wish I, was a star. I think that this is a pretty good result and actually I'm working on some music videos that I can't wait to share. Guys, I can't tell how much fun I'm having creating music and videos with these tools. And let me now share my final thoughts. Sometimes I think that the guitar community is pretty reluctant to use AI tools, but honestly, this is the future and AI is really taking the world by a storm. Honestly, the risk is to be left in the dust without knowing how to use these tools. And that's why I would like to bring more and more these tools to your attention, even if I know that not everybody appreciate them. And I have to say that the more I use these tools, the more my creativity is pushed forward and I'm actually going into a complete different direction than the one I expected at the beginning. I mean, I have approached these tools thinking that the risk was to kill my creativity, just letting me copy someone else. But then I found myself imagining new worlds or having specific visions for my music videos that I was able to bring to life using Leonardo AI. And this has actually pushed me forward to create more music and more videos, therefore pushing my creativity forward instead than holding it back. And that's why I'm falling in love with these tools. Actually, Leonardo AI and the Synthetizer V are becoming my favorite tools to bring my artistic vision to life. One more tough about Leonardo AI. There are some free tools for image generation and one of the easiest I know is focus. But there are some drawbacks in using these tools, in my opinion. First of all, you need pretty powerful computers to run focus unless you want to wait ages before having an image. And the second drawback is that if you want to train a dataset, you need to use another tool like Koya, requiring therefore a longer learning curve. On the other hand, with Leonardo AI, you don't need a powerful computer. You can also train your own dataset pretty easily. Furthermore, I typically found the images generated by Leonardo more artistic, so to say, compared to the ones obtained with focus even if I know this is just personal opinions. So that's all for this video. Let me know your precious and valuable opinions about these tools in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye-bye.